So I want to ask my new producer, Sean and Hassan, my two experts, two of my experts, what do they think about this story? I've spoken to him, at least Sean, I read about it, but not Hassan yet. And Sean is coming in, and I want to ask, ask, ask Sean, what does he think about this? Amazing story. And so, first we'll start with Hassan, my uh, audio engineer here, and one of the experts on com. And then Sean, my brand new producer and a new expert on com. So, Hassan, had you seen that video before, right now? No, sir. What, what's your first impression of, of, of uh, Scott Adams? What do you say? Well, it's, yeah, it's very interesting. I remember you interviewing him um, and seemed like a pretty decent, logical guy during that interview. Yeah. Um, Smart guy, too. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting to kind of see um, certain people who maybe were more I don't know if he was more on the liberal side or more of like the helping or quote unquote, like from what he was saying, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. And <laughs> sort of not necessarily pandering, but maybe was in the role of like, well, let me try to sort of be mama in so- certain ways. I don't know for sure. I'm just saying kind of from what he said is what I got. And yeah, he's just like fed up and he's like, you know what? That's, that's not, it's backfiring. It's making it worse. It's not doing anything. And um, it's interesting to see people kind of not only seeing that, but vocalizing it and um, and kind of saying that. Scott was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm going home. Yeah, he's fed up. I'm packing my bags and getting out of here. I can't help these black folks. What the? Right, he's been speaking the truth to them for years, so that's his, you know, I think that's what he's referring to by, by I've been trying to help them for years. I've been speaking the truth to them. Right. And I've only been called a racist. Speak from the chest. And I've only been called a racist. And, and so, it hasn't helped at all. What do you think about what he said? I mean, I understand where he's coming from. I understand that he's fed up. Uh, but at the end of the day, he is speaking in very general terms. He's not saying... It's not all but uh, he's not saying not all but most. He's saying blacks in general, <laughs> as a group, are all this one Sean way. I need to pull a mic closer. Sorry about that. Okay. How can you tell them apart? How can you tell what apart? Oh, how can you tell the blacks apart? Does he need to say not all, not all, not all but most? In my opinion, yeah, because it, it is not all but most. Some people are waking up. Um, I know I was taught by my parents to take people as you find them, take individual people as you find them right. to be. Yeah. Yeah. So but, I understand where he's coming from. He's fed up, but he is speaking generally about But Well, one, wouldn't common sense say that he's not talking about all? It's never all in any situation. Sure it is, but that's, that is – in my opinion, that's what got him in trouble is is um, is not pointing out that he's speaking from a common sense standpoint. You know, he said right. he said he is still speaking in terms of black and white. So wh- people who don't have common sense will assume that he's talking about 100 percent. And when you say that's what got him in trouble, you think because he didn't say not all, not all, not all, but most got him in trouble? In, in my opinion, you feel the same way. Um, how did he get in trouble? He lost. He um. Oh, he, he lost the comic strip. Right. He thing. write for different newspapers. Right. He, different right. newspapers pick up his media outlets and newspapers dropped his comic, which has been around for thirty years. The Dilbert comic is one of the best, you know, longest running comics. Yeah. Oh wow. So, so after once that, he said that they dropped him. That specific- like a hot potato. <laughs> you ever dropped a hot potato? <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
do you think that had he said not all, not all, no. not all, not all, not all, but most, that they would not have dropped him? No, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered. Why did you say that? Because it still would have seemed insensitive, or you know, they still would have probably been like, "You can't say that," even about you can't, you know, majority or whatever you're saying. They would, no, nah, he would have still got the hammer. <laughs> yeah, he would have got it because he's a white man. Yeah, and even if he had got on top of the rooftop and sang the song, not all, not all, not all, not all, but most, they still would have punished, would try to punish him. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Because he's white, and he's speaking the truth. He's showing love, and they don't want anyone to show the black people love. Right. They don't want the blacks to wake up. So it doesn't matter how he would have said it. I hear you. You agree with that? I hear you. Yeah. So let me ask you and uh, um, Hassan this before I go. Is it possible to help people? No. I think at a, you, you can point them in the right direction. But if they're rejecting your advice past a certain point, you're actually making the situation worse because they will just do the opposite of what you're saying just <laughs> to keep that ego trip going yeah. of doing what they want to do. Um, like he said, in the, I think his point in the video – about helping people and about you know trying to point them in the right right direction. If you don't just say to them, "This is your own problem," you got to pick yourself up and and figure out what's going on. Yeah, um, that's really the only thing you, you you can do. Absolutely. How what do you think? Is it possible to help people? It's funny. It's interesting because I always I look at one of the definitions of help, and it's like actually a negative. Um, and, and people would kind of use it like, oh, I helped you. And, you know, now you did it. So it is a very manipulative kind of word. Um, so I would say no, but by being an example, um, you can help by just being a living example. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. Yeah. How can you help by being a living example? Well, because then people can at least see another option. Like, I remember there was this girl that was doing something, at, like, occupation, and I was like, you should stop doing that. And But then I realized if I don't provide her, like, an option of something that, like, at the time made as much money as that, then it's just going to be like, who are you talking to? Like, you know, so you have to provide – an option sometimes before you can just say you're wrong or this is wrong. So I think by at least providing the option of being the example of like, hey, this is how my life is going. This is what I'm doing. Um, Nick, come here for a minute. I'm going to ask. Yeah. Uh, so you saying that it is possible to help people by being a, 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 a living example, a good example. Possibly, yeah, possibly. And you say that too? Yeah, absolutely. I think he's right. It's possible to help people by being an example? If they want to be, if they are interested in being helped and changing themselves, then you, by being a living example, will provide that help for them. Um, I know you're James, not, have Nick to come here for a minute. Go ahead. I know you're not, you know, we've talked about Jordan Peterson before. I know you're not the biggest, biggest fan, but... No, I like Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Well, I totally do. I have. I know he mean well. He's right. doing well, and... He has some and, sort of weakness about him, but... Right, but... But, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I want to interview him again. I interviewed him a couple of times. Right. Um, I heard him say something once oh, like... Oh, you were checking oh, yourself over in the mirror. Getting TV, <laughs> getting TV ready. Look how white he is. It's beautiful. <laughs> He's whiter than you right now. <laughs> it's beautiful. White is beautiful. But it's okay to be white. Thank you, sir. But go ahead Except about Peterson. Oh, right. So he said if, if you're giving advice to somebody and they're not taking it, stop giving them advice. Yeah. Because it it devalues what you have to say. It That's cheapens the, the advice. If you keep giving it and they're not taking it, it cheapens what you have to say. Yeah. So I just wanted to add that. Is it possible to help people? Uh, not in the way most people think. This is my other expert Ex producer, but expert of Jesse Peterson show and the host of Nick Stream don't on YouTube. Don't say Fridays like at 4 p.m. Don't say it like that. What? Ex producer. No. <laughs> it's true. You've been ex I accept. I accept it. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. No, you can't. You, you can't really help people the way people think uh, that you can help. I was thinking about, in fact, yesterday, you know, the fellowship service. Speak from you, chess. And you were bringing up, you were talking a little bit about helping people and. Hey, because you get into fall out there, folks. He'll be right with you. Go ahead. And you were talking about taking sides yesterday. And I realized that most people think that God will help them the way that they would help someone, that he would intervene right. in your life and it would come That's in. That's a deep point. But he's actually way more subtle. He's super subtle, and he's always at the right time, at the right perfect moment. That's why you always get it wrong. You get yeah. the timing wrong, the words wrong. And so Scott Adams is, is right about what he's saying. And, and I'll even go and say, even to the point where... Why should separate in a sense? Yeah. Because you can't tell. Absolutely. You can't tell who's what's going on and and I don't want to talk over this break, but I have something more to say. Okay, like let me take a quick break. When I come back, so, we'll... so you say you can't help others. No. Oh, what did you say? I was just saying you can't, um and not in the way that people think they can help. And I was mentioning how God doesn't help you like that. Oh, okay. And I noticed yesterday during the service that People think that that's how they take sides because they think that that's how God operates. They think that he takes sides and that's how he helps. He intervenes and gets in there. But he's way more subtle, way more. He's at the perfect right right moment, right time, the right timing, and subtle. And Chris, you say that you can. Sean. Okay. Sean. Chris. Sean. Oh, oh white people look like. <laughs> what the? You say you can help or you cannot help other people. You can help by being a living example, right? Just by in the in the way of being a living example. You said something in the past that stuck with me. You said, "When you love people, you let them suffer." Yeah, and that's how God treats us. I just, you know, agreeing with Nick, that's how God treats us. (laughs) Um, He'll let us suffer, right? And so, dealing with other people. So you're saying you can't help others by not helping, right? Oh, okay. By letting them suffer, because. It's the best teacher. And you say you can help others. Or can't. Oh, you gave that example that you told the person they need a better job. Uh, yeah. They need like, to get up off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically by yeah, by being a, an example that we could possibly be of help. But I don't know if it's necessarily of help, but it's something. Can <laughs> did Christ was Christ able to help Jesus Christ? Was he able to help by being a living example? To the one out of a hundred. Was Christ able to help by being a living example? Well, no, no, because it's still the person had to want it, one. And two, the help that person was receiving still came it's like when i heard you say anger is evil something inside me just exploded i'm like that is the truth the truth the truth the truth right and that wasn't you doing that inside but you were the example i think in the same way and i i think i was there i wanted to i knew something was wrong and i wanted to overcome so i think i don't know if i just i don't know I guess I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, in a sense, he did help Christ by being an example. Did Christ, was Christ able to help by being a living example? Yes. You guys talked a few weeks ago about, you know, being encouraged or being inspired by people and what that really means. And you, for example, with me, you for, you for Nick and for a lot of people, encourage people to look within and to see within themselves that they, they already have the light that they can change. So Christ healed those who wanted to be healed. I think I'm going to make that the biblical question. Okay. Uh, I just realized that. So that's the brand new biblical question. Uh, was Christ able to help others by being a living example? All right. But anyway, you wanted to finish up with the real Scott, quick. with Scott Adams situation here. You say, yeah, real quick. I was saying right before the break that I agree with him that whites should just go away from the blacks. Just go far away. Go away from the what? From the blacks. Oh, okay. And go far away <laughs> and just... Um, but I wanted to, on what I was saying, I want to leave a little room to that answer, a little room for hope or something because... Who is hope? Who's hope? Hope for the world. Oh, you mean hope, like hope they'll get better? 
And wh- and for what I'm about to say, oh, okay. which is which is that. Um, I thought you meant Hope was the last guy you used today. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. He never dated anyone named Hope. <laughs> um, but in that, I want to leave some space because there's only so much running you can do, and so much going away into your own communities that you can do. They're they're coming in there as, as well. That's one point, and two. Um, I wanted to leave some room because uh, if you have to understand what it's going to take. Now that so much time has passed doing it the wrong way, capitulating and, uh, and kissing up to the blacks and saying, you know, all this stuff. Now the way back from that is painful. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be painful, right? Yeah. And so the reason I'm leaving room to the answer of you should just go away is because maybe there is a way back, but you have to understand it's going to be painful. It's like, for example, like two-thirds of America's government federal money, like two-thirds of it, goes to uh, social programs, homeless stuff, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And the way back from that would be maybe to, in some degree, get rid of it all. But once you do that, you're going to have a lot of pain. You're going to have starving people. You're going to have people that can't take care of themselves. You're going to have people mad and who knows what so there is a way back but it's painful okay so i don't know if y'all are ready for that <laughs> so that's why there should be some space because you know there should be at least some hope but i think that what scott might not realize uh because i do agree with him uh but what i think what scott might not realize is that wherever he moved to his neighbor the white people the black people got to follow them over there they're going because they're not able to do for themselves. They're not able to keep things going. They're not able to make it better. So all they're going to do is follow wherever neighborhood he's going, wherever the white people move to or go to. The blacks are going to follow. Have you noticed that? Huh? Yeah. What? Yes. <laughs> so do you think that they're just going to follow Scott wherever he go because the blacks are incapable uh, of doing and making things for themselves? I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> that very well could, could be the case in the future. <laughs> what do you think about that? Yeah, no, it's we've seen that already. Yeah, they go wherever. The, they don't make their stuff better. They go where the white people go, and they tear down their stuff. Scott will go to some white city and and just keep it all themselves. But then somewhere on on the, somewhere down the way, one husband. Christian man will be like, you know what? My wife should be city council. And then she's going yeah, <laughs> to, she, and she's going to let some program or something. Amazing. Uh, so do you agree or disagree that wherever Scott moved to the blacks, because they're incapable of doing for themselves, just going to move there too and, and destroy it. Yeah. And I also think, unfortunately the dysfunction and delinquency is now happening amongst it's trickling down everywhere yeah. so I, I, don't, I don't know if you can it's almost impossible to outrun the uh the what's going on <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing Th- yeah last word Sorry. um i think we have to remember too that there are people like the powers that be there are there are white people uh mostly on the left who in, in, are in charge who encourage that that type of behavior, yeah. who, who encourage these big cities to force them to mix, and when people are forced to that's mix, a good as opposed point. to coming together naturally, yeah, that's when things go awry. Amazing. Last word. Good. Yeah, kind of on a little bit on what Sean was saying. I was just thinking about what you talk about. I remember being with you during the Uncle Tom filmings, and, and I learned a lot. And it just Uncle makes me- Tom would. Check out Alcatraz 1 and 2. Amazing videos. It really stuck with me. Movies. Honestly, a lot of that stuff stuck with me yeah. about how, in, and what, even what Hake says on his show about the Civil War and, and blacks and whites. Hake, yeah. uh, Hake Report. I've learned that there really was a, a natural coming together happening. And um, yeah. I just want to leave space for that. You know, Absolutely. It. Last word. Well, first, breaking news from YouTube, Carver531 says Scott Adams was shouting out JLP on his show yesterday. 
Oh, amazing. But, Thanks, uh, Scott. Shout out to Scott Adams. I appreciate you, man. Hot off the press. And thank you for speaking up. Finally, mm. white men are starting to speak up. Nice. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, I guess my last word real quick just would be uh, I agree with all that. And really quick, I th- that Don Lemon video, I know this is a little bit off of the beaten path, but Not really. I, I can't believe – what happened to him? What, I mean, mm-hmm. right? He went that, liberal. That's unbelievable that he was saying that stuff. I know, but anyway, yeah. But in those days, black people and white people used to tell the truth about what was wrong with the blacks. They they would say it's the family. You need to take care of yourself. But they stopped, and it just went south after that. Incredible, South amazing. America. All right, thank you guys, my experts. I appreciate it. 